everybody's doing well today. I just wanted to take a quick second to do a little short review uh, on my Jeep TJ and the, uh, the the Bulldog upper fiberglass windows I just purchased. I have been wanting some for a while now. Started doing a little research. Couldn't hardly find much on them. Um, you know, this is the common window here that you see on a lot of them with the soft top and half doors. But I wanted something that was a little bit more, uh, you know, less wind noise couldn't decide if i wanted full doors or or you know i'd have to purchase a set of full doors off of a tj uh, i'm sure it wouldn't get lucky enough to be the color of mine i have to get them painted then i'd have to change the locks um uh, just a lot of different things was kind of up in the air and i said you know i think i'm gonna go with these uh uppers that are uh, molded and, and out of fiberglass and they won't flop around and have a nice sliding window didn't know how I would like them, but I really do like the look of them. I know you've seen some of the shots at the beginning of the video, and uh, I really like the way they come out. But I'm going to show you, take a quick second here and just show you a little bit. I apologize, it started raining uh, earlier, and it probably wasn't the best time to uh, do a video. But as you can see here, they're, they're really nicely made. Again, I apologize, uh, it started raining. Probably wasn't the best day to do a video, but just wanted to take a quick second to kind of give my... Uh, my opinion on them and what I think about them. Number one, I think they're great. I think they look good. They're very solid made. Um, they work with the uh, factory door surrounds with the soft top or hard, hard top, whatever you'd like. Um, they just have a good, solid, nice feel, just like a full door. Uh, the ones I, got, I bought come with uh, tinted glass. I think it's 30%. Um, but just to kind of give you an idea how they how they look on the inside, um, as you can see, all of this is fiberglass here, and you know if you if you if you have half doors, you're familiar with it. There's there's three little tabs, one here, here, and here. You actually remove those. Take a screwdriver, remove them. It comes with two long bolts. These two bolts are long with these uh, metal rubber washers. This one does not take a washer, and um, it's a little shorter bolt. But you just bolt them down, and they're solid as a rock. Now. If you want to remove them, you can just unscrew those bolts and remove them. I probably never will. I just soon take my doors off. Um, that's just me. I wanted that, that full door feel, but I do also like the look of the half door. You know how it comes down to me. I think I, I like it better. It looks more jeepy to me, um, but it does work with the Rampage soft top. Um, also, if you'd like to see how they open, they they say that these are the biggest the largest uh opening i mean the largest window the opening is kind of on the smaller side but that gives you an idea it's, it's good enough to go to a bank get a drink get a hamburger whatever through the drive through more than i'll need and they just slide and pop back they do not open from the outside uh i know the best top makes some that's a little bit cheaper and i watched a video that a guy had i don't remember where it was but he would he would just grab it and slide it there and it would open from the outside. I don't know if he had a defect or a defected one or if that's just what they were. But these are outstanding. Um, I will say this. If you guys can see here, uh, I have a light bar with a bracket here on the Jeep. But if you see this space between the windshield, uh, when I first got them, because I had the, this, this, is a, this Jeep come stock with the soft top and the up, soft uppers. Um, I had to do some adjusting. You see, if you notice here, there's a gap there now on both sides. But as it got further up closer to the top of the cab here, um, before I did the adjustments, um, this was touching the windshield. Uh, there is a... I had a hard time finding this. I'm, gonna, I can't, I'm not going to take my top off to show you, but... Basically, I don't know if you guys, it's probably too dark. Yeah, it's going to be too dark in there. So on your roll bar right here, this roll bar, the main one that goes alongside there, about this far back, right behind this door surround, there's a bolt. And it's about right there. And that bolt faces out this way. That roll bar goes inside of a smaller piece of a roll bar, and it's got a slot in it, okay? And what that slot does is it allows you to spread that out so if you need to move your windshield away from your door a little bit just unbolt that on this side unbolt it on the other side loosen these bolts here just a little bit get you something and pry back on it there loosen that main bolt on that spreader bar on that roll bar you can push your windshield uh forward i don't know 
it's uh, about a quarter inch at the most and uh, that will allow you to have that clear gap there um, but other than that I am really satisfied with them uh, it's like I said just contact Bulldog go to bulldogmanufacturing.com I think that's their website there telephone number is on there as well if you guys can see that uh, but you can call that number go to that website I think you guys will be well satisfied with these uh, uppers that is my review and opinion on these uppers I love them they cut the wind noise down the theft a little more theft deterrent um, they the windows are tinted it has a better look to me than your plastic zipper windows and I encourage you to go get man go get a set of them um, they're about $750 plus tax and shipping. I don't know what the shipping is. I actually purchased these on eBay from the company. So you could, you'll, you'll catch this every now and then. The guy said most of the time when he does sell them like this, they're usually online a couple hours. They may last a day, one business day, and they're gone. But uh, I got these for $650 plus tax plus shipping, which out the door it was like $748. Um, their normal price on their website is $750 plus tax plus shipping. So... I saved, I don't know, 25, 30%. But um, anyway, I encourage you, listen, they're worth it. I'd pay $1,000 for them. Um, they're, they're actually absolutely worth it. Look, have a good look. And uh, like I said, it cuts down on the noise, wind noise. Um, it's just nice. Like, you know, you can, you can talk to somebody in the passenger seat without kind of talking loud. You know, it's, it's, uh, you can listen to your radio low like my other vehicles. Um, so I'm really enjoying them. Check them out, Bulldog mfg.com thank you guys for watching i hope you all enjoyed the, the videos if you have any questions uh, just leave them in the comments below be sure to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to get more content like this keep up with us i'll be glad to try to help the best i can appreciate you guys y'all be blessed and y'all have a good one we'll see you next time